So here's a fairly uncommon machine. You don't see too many of these. It's a key start. And the premise behind this is that you have a battery. There's a couple variations of it, but in this one, the battery sits under here and it's a fairly small battery, unfortunately, a sealed lead acid battery. And uh, these are the terminals that go to it. You can see I've hooked it up. A larger one here just to test it. There's a later version of this that has this full size battery and the mount is on the deck itself. There's another one where it's uh, in that blank over there. It's a bit of a larger battery. And then the latest iteration of this uses a regular tool battery, a, um, a lithium ion craftsman battery, you know, for cordless drills and whatnot. And that just slides on there. It's probably the, the best system for that because these batteries, or rather the starter, which you can see is mounted on the side of the engine here. It's just like a regular car starter. The, uh, the wheel shoots up, engages the flywheel and turns over the motor. However, these sealed lead acid batteries do not last very long, especially if you start this thing, you know, a couple times or you're doing the lawn and you don't put it to charge right away, it will deplete below a certain voltage and it'll cause damage to the cells and you gotta go replacing the battery. Now, the battery that was in here is a really small one to begin with and really only has, you know, enough power to start this thing once, maybe twice, and then you gotta put it to charge and, um, they, they just don't last very long. But anyways, I'll show you how it works. It's quite nice. It works very well. You pull down the, uh, the bail brake and then you just turn this key here. And it should start. See, so I had a little bit of trouble there because my battery's a little bit weak. And it takes about, um, it's about 35 amps peak current. I put a, uh, an amp meter on there and it peaks out at about 35 amps and uh, you need at least that to start it and start it again. This of course is the Briggs and Stratton without the primer circuit so they've actually omitted the primer bulb here and there's a choke flap that is governed by a linkage that goes across here to the thermostat on the um, exhaust muffler so what happens is when the motor's cold that choke is closed and when you go to turn the engine over it's sucking fuel through the emulsion tube and then as the exhaust heats up the thermostat opens this one is self-propelled, it's a front-wheel drive. Um, the wheels were totally stripped out because it's a plastic gear. And I just put on uh, some random ones I had just to get it going here before I order the correct wheels for it. 